Okay guys, so I uh, wrapped up my honey garlic sauce in the last video for my uh, chicken on the barbecue. I'm going to move on to utilizing my garlic uh, in a different kind of condiment, uh, tomb, which is Lebanese garlic sauce. Uh, anybody who's ever had a doner knows exactly what I mean when I say the garlic sauce. Now, when I first started having it, I thought it was like a garlic mayo until I started using garlic mayo and noticed a huge difference. Tomb is actually three ingredients. Garlic, oil, and a little bit of lemon juice. The reason why it's so fluffy is because you're using it the same method as making mayonnaise. You're using that emulsification which really fluffs up that oil, but there's no egg in it. So leaving it, you know, out as a sandwich spread, it it sits just fine. Um, so we're gonna get making that, and we'll go from there. Now with this, once again, it's block numbers. I've got thirty cloves of garlic to three cups of oil to three tablespoons of lemon juice. So. If you want to grow your recipe or reduce your recipe, just work in those chunks. 10 cloves, one cup, one teaspoon. 20 cloves, two cups, two tablespoons. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, get my lemon going. Don't eat a lot, so. That's about, what, three tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. And we'll, uh, we'll get working on our tomb. Okay guys, so I'm ready to go. Uh, it's gonna get a little wild with the mixer. So I'm gonna just kind of walk you through with instructions in between my pulses. So. Throwing in my garlic, we're going to mince this, uh, you know, get it to a small fine consistency. So I'm just going to scrape down the sides a little bit because I want to catch everything. So that looks pretty good to me. So at this point, I'm gonna add uh, about one tablespoon of my three and one cup of my oil out of the three. We'll get that all mixed, starting to blend, and we'll go from there. So, got my first uh, cup in. I'm just gonna scrape the sides. Now, it's really important that you do pour your oil slowly, because uh, you wanna work on that emulsification. You want it to get fluffy. If you put all your oil in all at once, it doesn't happen, it just gets overwhelmed. But, <laughs> this is what a slow pour can do, and I'm only one, one cup in. It's already starting to get that nice, creamy mayonnaise kind of consistency already. It's just gonna get even fluffier as I add the rest of my uh, oil and lemon juice.
look, it's looking really, really good, guys. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you can see that it's already holding itself up. It's holding its its shape. It's creamy, it's it's such a nice uh, spread. Uh, you know, in the, instead of horseradish on your roast beef sandwich, have some of this. Um, it's a garlic sauce. Okay guys, so we're back. Clean everything up. Got my tomb packed in its uh, container. Man, does that ever smell good. So this is the kind of consistency we're we're working on. Comes out like a like a room temperature soft cream cheese. Wonderful odor, wonderful taste, very strong, direct. Um, because it's garlic and oil, think about it uh, as a garlic bread spread. Toast your bread, spread this on. Garlic bread to a whole nother level. It's roast beef sandwiches, uh, rubs on chicken before you bake it. Uh, it's, a, it's a really strong dip. If you want to use it as a dip, I would maybe cut it in half with either sour cream or mayonnaise. But as it is, it's fresh garlic, oil and lemon juice now key point is that lemon juice in this recipe do not skimp on the lemon juice if you had just straight garlic and oil you have the potential of containing botulism which nobody wants botulism is killed by the citric acid in the lemon juice. So, if anything, go a little heavy on your measurement. Don't skip it. Don't think that you can go without it because you're setting yourself up for potential sickness. Keep it refrigerated. If it's refrigerated, you got the right amount of citric acid, you're good for a couple months. Hopefully, it's not gonna last that long.